Hello reptile lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sven, this is Woody and today we are going to build a naturalistic background for my monitor lizard enclosure. Stay tuned! The first two minutes are just pictures and time lapse because it, it isn't interesting enough for a video. Just relax and watch the videos. Okay, this is a little update what happened uh, in the last hours. So we, if you can see here, me and my son, we did a lot of foam work, but it's only plates, so it's, it's not interesting for a video. I think you, you know how to cut foam and put it in place. Uh, Yes, we, we did the walls over here. This is the only wall, the rest will be glass. Uh, we did this wall with the entrance of the cave. And I put plates here at the pond. And if you noticed, I already put the connectors for the filter. This is the inlet and there will be the outlet. And what did change like the last episode? I decided to build the cave a little bit different. If you remember I had the big walls all over it was small so I just screwed a wall over there that there's no chance to get behind the pond and I put a wall over here and the spaces between and down the edges there will be foam and so the monitor lizard will have a nice big cave and over here you can see there is my filter top and up here there are the connectors for the hoses. Okay, that is what we, what we did right now. And now we want to start. First, I want to take a pencil and we I will draw some pictures of what I think it should look like afterwards and then we will cut all the foam pieces and put it in place and the nice thing of this build is after we put all those uh, pieces uh, on the walls I can remove all the plates and paint it and carve it and, and cut it in my garage so I don't have the mess in here and I don't have the smell in here but one thing I have to show you 
Look at this hose. It's a big hose. It's like a an alphorn horn. Now, what is it? Even? Yeah. Could you take the camera? Yep. This is another secret in this field. Behind my big tree, I want to build a mangrove tree in here with big roots on the bottom. And this pipe will be behind the stuff. I have to shorten it a little bit. And I will put a ventilator up here and down here. You can there will be the outlet down under the roots. And what what does this thing do? It sucks the warm air from the top and blow it down into the bottom. So I don't waste the warm air. I will put it down so I will get a nice warm circulation. That's my plan. Okay, up to paint some pictures. Okay, next update, I cut those plates and the borders, so I decided to put this over the, the black uh, uh, pond, so it will look nicer when it's ready. So on all of these parts I can remove, I can take it into my garage and then I can finish it. So I put some different pieces on. These pieces I will be contuned to form with, with the heat gun and maybe a little bit spray form. So on this side I built this huge rock. So maybe that is easier to climb up. And now I will start to build the roots of the mangrove tree. Yeah, and then I have to finish this mangrove tree with my pipe inside for the ventilation. And that's it. Okay, see you on the next step. Okay, I carved another root. I just want to put it like here. I will take some silicone and glue it on. And that's, that is looking really nice. So, a little silicone around here. Like this. Low for the right spot. Maybe here. And wiggle it in. 
yes. Okay. Up to here, there will be the, the soil and the substrate. So this will look very nice. Okay. Up to the tree. Okay guys, this was a long day, but I didn't finish the project, didn't know that it's so much work, but if you can see a little bit is done and I show you what I did and in the next episode tomorrow we will finish the whole mangrove tree with this ventilation pipe. So I give you a quick walk around. I get the camera. Okay, what did we do today? We put all the plates around the pond and all, all this thing you see here, I will put some spray foam on and curve it a little bit better. And over here, hey Woody, you can see, hopefully, it's not the best light. I start to put some mangrove branches into. On this side, it looks like this, but there will be more with this spray foam. And over here, it looks like this. And when I hopefully get ready tomorrow with my mangrove tree over here, I uh, start to cover all this stuff with my uh, with this bed liner. It's a totally different way to cover your your uh, this nature parts but this is another story and i show you step by step how i will do this so okay that's for today i hope you enjoyed it and stay safe and we see us tomorrow